I saw it. I saw it already. Pluto is here. And you, did you already try to find Pluto? I found a way to capture Pluto with my 12 inch Dawsonian telescope and I will show you how I did it for you to do the same with your telescope and take a nice picture at the end. Watch the Dawsonian power. So Pluto is at 25 altitude, not very high in the sky. I think we can manage to, to catch it. Let's do Pluto. So first I will pick a, a reference. We have Sagittarius here at the right. So I will use Sagittarius as a reference, this teapot. This star, I can make an imaginary horizontal line here, you see, to position more or less the telescope around Pluto. And I will try to see any of these stars of Capricornus. Saturn here, if I can make an imaginary horizontal line here, that's how I do the, the things outside. I will do the traditional star hopping. Here was the beginning of the capture. Better drink some water because this will be hard. I made different attempts along with the viewers, our Keep It Simple nice community, trying to help and turning it into a very pleasant moment. Hold on, I have the image in my mind. I can see Altair at the top. I can see these two stars. Okay, I have the image in my mind. Hold on, <laughs> struggle, but what's life without struggle a bit? Now we will play to solve for Shark Cap to tell us if I did it well or not. I'm almost there, look, Pluto is below where the telescope is, hold on. And one more go outside, <laughs> it's good for the body. Come on Tiago, you're almost there, keep going. Watch what I was doing here. I was outside trying to center these small stars forming a triangle shape. One good trick is to plan the capture. If you see a pattern or something that at that hour that you know you will be capturing that can help you identifying the three stars here but it's below Pluto is around here so I will recenter to this region here then we magnify. And here we go again. Before magnifying, we will find the patterns. Look at this pattern, this huge pattern of three, four, five stars. Okay, one, two, three, four. And we have to find another pattern near Pluto. This is hard, of course. Okay, let's magnify this. Okay, this is so hard. Yes, yes, this pattern. Yes, 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 you see? These three stars, one, two, three, are the same, it's here. Pluto is, I saw it. I saw it already. Pluto is here. This is Pluto. This is not life stacking. Now we will life stack to make it pop. This is Pluto. Without doing nothing, this is Pluto. We found it. We found it. Third star, Pluto is here. This is Pluto. Pluto. If you are watching Pluto for the first time, you can see already what you can expect. Didn't think this is this was possible. Uh, it is. It is. With the Dobsonian power, manual pointing of a dim object is an art form. Precisely. People used to call art of uh, the astrophotography, the post-processing, and in this process, in EAA, visual also, the art of finding the objects, the art of find these patterns, this what I'm doing here today, it's a kind of art also. Art, it's everywhere. It's not only the post-processing that is art. We are watching Pluto. <laughs> Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a mini Ursa Major. Yes, yes, kind of. Look, look the big deeper. One more proof. Well, well done. One, two, three stars. Another one here. Look the pot here. One, two, three stars. One, two, three stars. You see the pot? And Pluto is this corner. You see the inclination is the same. 
It's not this. This is a star. This is a star. This is a star. Here again, the handle and the four stars. This one is like this at the right, Pluto. See? Pluto. <laughs> we cocked Pluto. Join our live streams to have fun with us and click on this video to watch more of this content.